get, I don't know. Hey guys, it's Trader Wit and welcome to my video. So today is going to be a very strange video because I've never really talked about controversial things on my channel before. I felt like since it's all over YouTube, I think it's just okay to talk about it. I'm pretty sure that you all have read upon the James Charles scandal and everything that's been going around, circulating around him. I just kind of want to touch on how I feel about the situation. All of these things that I'm going to be talking about is personally in my opinion and how I feel on the situation. If you feel like you agree agree to something else, you are 100% are okay to agree with however you want to agree with, but this is just personally for me. I was kind of off and on about James Charles. Like, I've watched his videos, some were very just outrageous, and some were very just cool, and to see him do makeup, and to see him transform his body, it was amazing to me. Not to hate on other YouTubers, but some YouTubers that I see that are, you know, mainstream, um, I just sometimes think, like, how are they famous? I subscribed to James Charles about when he not when he first started it was like probably when he first like became successful i unsubscribed him a long time ago i don't know he was very like bold which i don't have a problem with bold people it's just like you know it's just it's just not for me. When I say bold, I meant whenever he was caught up in a lot of scandals and a lot of drama, and I just didn't want to support him and all of that. Obviously, every YouTube channel is different. They have their own audience, and like for me, that was not my niche. So, leading on to what all happened. I know this is probably going to be like weird to say, but I kind of feel bad for him a little bit because of the amount of hate that he's getting. Um, I was watching a different YouTuber that was reacting to Tati's video, and he was basically like stating the fact that when you're in school and that one person picks on you or whatever, you know, you can brush that off. But when you have a million people hating on you, telling you to kill yourself, that, that kind of gets to someone. Do I personally agree to like throw dirt on his name? No, I don't. I agree on Tati's putting out that statement and putting out that video to show his actions. I mean, how else would they learn, right? But do I believe people constantly telling him to kill himself? No. In order for her to see change in him, he had to see the impact on how all of these things that he was doing to these people. There were so many straight guys that came out to say that James Charles literally DM'd them and wanted more out of them and told them that, you know, they're gay and that, you know, they're not straight. I feel like that's so insane for someone to like throw out your sexuality. They tell you who you are. Like, if anything, that person knows more about himself or herself than someone else. Honestly disagree on that, on how he, I guess, was a predator. So the video that you're watching right now is basically pre-filmed. This is all before he just put out a statement um, basically explaining the real situation. I would like to take this video today as an opportunity to kind of explain everything that has happened and address literally everything. There's a lot that happened behind the scenes leading up to Tati's video and there's a lot that happened behind the scenes and publicly after Tati's video and I feel as though it is my responsibility to kind of let you guys in on those because there's a lot of misinformation going around and it's just not really good. I will have the link to the video in the description box below for you guys to watch. I strongly believe in two sides of the story. However, I do disagree obviously on someone telling you your sexuality because I feel like in our society today, there are a lot of people that just put you in this box where, you know, either you're gay, you're straight, or you're bi. And so there are people like that. Now, I don't know if he did that or not. I mean, he just came out and said that he didn't do that. Um, so, of course, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. But I just want to personally say that, you know, I do still disagree on that subject. So, yeah. One thing that I want to talk about. This goes back for me feeling bad for him. You have to like think of this, right? These YouTubers that are on this, like on their channel, like they are literally dependent on ads and advertisement and like views per se. When you take that out of the equation, honestly, they're not getting paid at all. Like they don't have a part-time job. Their job is like YouTube. I feel like that's why YouTubers talk about a lot that is scary to be on YouTube. Like yes, it's cool to have all these fans, all these subscribers, all this attention, but then it goes back to like, damn, like, if I fuck up, like, not only am I going to be losing money, but I'm also going to be losing ads. I'm going to be losing sponsors and all that. And that's scary because like you being yourself could ultimately like affect your growth on your channel. On another note, I was not giving him any excuse whether he's wrong or right. I mean, obviously, just because you're a YouTuber doesn't mean that you're entitled to 
become this person that gets whatever he or she wants. But what I'm saying is YouTubers are literally put in a position where your whole image is on a website. So all of these fans are dependent on you. And so in a matter of a second, if you fuck up, your your whole fan base changes. And so that goes with celebrities also. Like me thinking about it, I do like the weirdest things every day where I fuck up on. And like, just imagine if my whole life was like blogging and like everything was on camera, like, I don't know how I would respond like I will always get I don't know so that's pretty much it on this week's video I really just wanted to come on here to share how I felt on the situation situations like these it has to be brought up it has to kind of like put more attention to in order for someone to change people talking about it people circulating it yes some are bad but some like he just needs to like look at and just realize what he's doing and how like it, it, it honestly could affect someone's life. I think it was a learning lesson, and honestly, it's just, it shows, like, damn, this world is just crazy. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Honestly, if you want, you can comment down your opinion on the situation. I love hearing about others' opinions on situations when it's a controversial topic like this. One big news that I want to share is that we are literally 10 subscribers away from 600 subscribers, and that honestly blows my mind because... We're almost to a thousand. Like that shit, that shit is crazy. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because I make videos every Sunday for you guys and I hope you like them. But yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it on this week's video. I love you guys and I will see you next week on a brand new video. Peace.